All right, you guys, today we got a Z06 Corvette, the car. We got the Corvette symbol right here. We got some LED lights right here, you know what I'm saying? I think all of these shine as well. So I know that'll look dope coming down the road. I know it's gonna look aggressive. Got your front splitter right here. They've been driving this Got your beats in the front. It's gonna keep the engine cool. You know I'm saying you need to keep the engine cool to keep it going fast. Oh yeah, yeah. right. You guys got your 19 inch rims right here. Drill and slotted rotors. Corvette big brake package. But in the back, got a little bigger. In the back, I think this is like a 20 inch or 21 inch rim in the back. Same big rotors, big brake package. Corvette rims. Has a more beefier tire in the back since it's a coupe. Got your Rickabill now. Rickabill spoiler. See how it looks from the back. Four exhaust tips in the back. Oh, it's been in here as well. Back here. It has vents everywhere on this car. I'm not gonna lie. Vents right here. Back window. This top can come off and it comes with a black top so you can switch out the black and the yellow top. Or you can just take it off and just ride like convertible style. So that's cool too. Got your side mirrors right here. It's kind of like a gloss metallic type of paint on this black. I don't really see any flakes in this paint. I think it's just like a just a basic yellow. Got your Z06 supercharger right here. 650 horsepower. 650 pounds of torque too. So now we're gonna get it on the inside. Oh, yeah, this joint is extra low to the ground, so we gotta kinda, we gotta get this joint. Booty first, I don't even lie. Yeah. You guys, so now we're in the interior of the car. Got the steering wheel right here. It's a nice steering wheel. It's kinda got a the sporty look to it. Got a Z06 right there. Corvette symbol right there. It's like the touch free to where you can control everything on the steering wheel as well. Cruise control right there. Got the digital dash right here. 220 on the dash. And it has a digital dash on this portion of the screen. It has 25,000 miles on it. Oh, don't forget, you got the paddle shifters right here. Paddle shifters. Got the blinkers. Okay, so this is the screen right here. This looks like a five to four inch screen. Might be a six inch. I think this is a six inch screen right here. We have the volume. You can make calls right here. You got navigation right here. I think you control all that with this, if I'm not mistaken. And we have where you can send messages once you connect your phone. And it has an aux cord as well with it. So we move along down here. You got your radio, media, you got your home, you got your menu where you control everything on the screen. You got your forward, I mean back, backwards and forward uh, symbols. You can go back as well with this as well. Okay, so these are like the temperature gauges where you can do the temperatures and stuff with this. This has both sides. Both sides have heated and cooling seats. Got your AC, all the AC components are down here as well. Okay, you got your gear shifter. This is an automatic, so look at that. Got the Corvette sign on it. It says sight speed. And also, right here shows the Z06 supercharged 650 horsepower and 650 pounds of torque. So it probably can get up with a cat. 
but I don't think it's beating the cat just yet. You know what I'm saying? You got to do a couple of modifications to it. Okay, you guys. So we have your park, reverse, neutral, drive, and you can throw it in manual mode. The downshift. I know the downshift on this joint is crazy. Okay, so we got the trust control. You can turn it off right here. I guess this mode can switch from track mode, sport mode, or probably economy, eco mode. We got your parking brake right here. Move those keys out the way. Okay, you guys, you got your cup holders right here. Cigarette lighter right there. And this is just like kind of like a view, can give you guys a view of like the copy view of what I'm seeing. Like if you was driving right now, how it will look, how everything is kind of on this side. And it's not like you're having to extend your arms like so far to get to everything. Like everything is kind of right here. So I feel like in this car, that'll be kind of what you'll be looking for in a coupe-ish car, because this is a coupe. So as you see on the passenger side, you got your vents. They can even your passenger can control the vents on their side just by clicking it. So they won't even have to come all the way over here and touch this. They can just touch it right over there. And we got your Bose sound system in here. Bose sound system. Automatic windows on each side. Y'all know I gotta do this every time. Y'all can't see me, but what to do? <laughs> okay, got your mirror. It has on-side assistance. Oh, this is a heated mirror, so that's it's pretty dope too. Got your lights, LED lights in here. You know, these are gonna be decked out with LED lights. Oh yeah, you guys, if you wanted to take off the roof, you would just pull this one down, pull this one down. You can do it by yourself, but I think you would probably would want to have another person just to help you lift it up and then y'all can take it off together. So that'd be cool. These are the seats. You got your nice racing seats in here. It's a dope seat. I'm not gonna lie, it's a dope seat. It's the back seat. It's not that much storage room, but for a coupe, I feel like this is all you probably need because in a coupe, I don't think you'll be doing like a massive grocery shopping load. So this will probably be perfect for you know what I'm saying? Just a couple of stuff. Just like a jacket or so or a suitcase. Probably could fit back there. Got an upper and lower part. Engine ain't in the back though. Engine in the front. But it's still, this the car is still dope. Not gonna lie. And that's it. You got your white stitching going all around this part. Your security up there, speaker right there. Recording this time. Yeah, I'm recording this time. <laughs> it's about 